Okay, so let's begin. Hello, welcome everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you for joining this class. Welcome, oh my gosh. Let me stop sharing that one so I can fix this one really quick. Also, I need to close this one. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to see you one more time. We're working with this thing that is called section number four. We're gonna have our class number 12 today. We're gonna have a topic that is called questions of choice. That's the title of this class. Okay, we're gonna have extra exercises um, so we can practice a little bit more on this content. Okay. Ileana, thank you so much. Good evening. Thank you for joining. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. It's not raining, right? I think winter is gone. Yeah. As far as I know, winter is gone. So hello, thank... hello, good night. Good good evening. Thank you. Yes, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Very That's well. Great. Are you ready for the weekend? What are your plans for the weekend? Yes. Yes, I I am making plans for the weekend. Oh, sounds great. Sounds yes, right great. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got tomorrow. Tomorrow is little Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. They uh they pay yesterday, right? So yes. that means we got some chirilica so we can go and spend it all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A lot of coins. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> Welcome. It's nice to have you. Everybody at home, thank you so much for being here. We're going to have class number 12 uh, today, which is titled Questions of Choice. Thank you so much for being here. And let's begin with today's class. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have some extra information, as you may say. Uh, let's look at the picture in here. Okay, Um, let me see, Evers, hello Evers, good evening, welcome. Hello, good evening, thanks teacher. Nice to have you. Look at this picture here and describe it please. What do you see? Okay, there are women me, she is sick. She is sick. Uh, maybe she has a cold, and she is drinking a lot of medicines. And she is in bed. She is very sick. She looks very sick. Okay, thank. That is right. That is right. What are your suggestions uh, to this girl? Mm. Hey. Okay, my suggestion is uh, she she don't have to to drink many thing many medicine uh, at the same time. Oh, so she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. Yes. Okay. What what is and another only vitamin D? Oh, only vitamin D. Okay. What is another D. advice that you can give her? Hmm. Herbal tea is good and only that, vitamin C and herbal tea. Okay. 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 What about like, do you think like she can go out and play soccer? She, no. Okay. She, is, she, she can't because okay. she is sick. So, okay. What, so what should she do? What should she do? Mm. I I guess she she has to rest. Oh, she, she has have to, rest. to to rest. Uh -huh. See, yes, yes, she oh, has she has to rest. Right. So she should rest in bed. She should rest. Okay. Okay. So she should rest in bed. Well, okay, very good. What is another advice? Um. Thank you, Evers. That's very nice. Great job. Okay. 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 Wonderful. Thanks. Thank you. What is another advice, Janessi? Janessi, that you can give to this. Poor girl. Look at this one, right? What is another advice that you can give her? 
based on what you see, because I like Evers was um, mentioned that she has a call. So what what is what is your advice to her? Um, take a rest and take her medicine. Okay, that's. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, so I apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Because at the end, it was quite the same. Okay, <laughs> it was quite the same. Thank you so much. I don't know. Maybe take vitamin C. I don't know. Yeah. Also, he said that. Also, he said. Ah, that. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe like I don't know, a boy, a boy drinking. I don't know, um, ice. Things like ice drinks, right? Or cold drinks, let's say. Yes. A boy drinking uh, cold uh, drinks. Yes. Right. Um, thank you so much. Very good. Okay. We're going to have some information about it, as you may see here. Please do me a favor. Uh, um, What is Daniela? Is Daniela here? Daniela, are you here? Can you participate? Yes. Hi, teacher. Oh, welcome. Can you do it? Let me know. Yes. Wonderful. The information that is in this uh, live blue. Please okay. read it. The, um, in North America, people spend more on health care than in other parts of the world. In drugstores and healthy food stores, people can buy over the counter medicines for cold, cough, cough, cough uh, and sore throat, as well as vitamins and other supplements. Home remedies for common illness, such as cold and sore throat, are also popular. That's correct, right? Popular. So we have common health problems. What are those common health problems that you know here in El Salvador? Well, last, like in 2000, I think that's in 2020, where we got uh, like a mix of these common health problems, right? <laughs> so <laughs> they came in like, you know, <laughs> in a mixed thing, right? Uh, and then they call it, oh, this is COVID-19, right? <laughs> where we have everything. Okay. What are those common health problems, health problems that we have here in El Salvador? What are those? Anybody? Stomach ache. A stomach ache. Very good. What is another one? The flu. The flu. Also. Exactly. Is another popular one. Well, today is popular, but we know that it's probably the the COVID. I don't know. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Doctors all, always say, "No, don't worry." It is, it's, it's go rest three days and have your assets. I mean, no offense to you, you're gonna yeah. be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I remember a friend got COVID like one month ago. Yeah, he got COVID one month ago. So, and, and I was like, oh, Jesus, right? So, we still have it. Um, and, and as you mentioned, right? They say, oh, that's the flu, that's a call, yeah. don't worry, you're gonna be fine. But, um, and they can do anything. Exactly. Only exactly. give you some advice and aspirin. <laughs> yeah. Right. And we have some remedies. Some yeah. remedies at home, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, that's so, it. Yeah. Eucalypto. And right? God bless you. And that's it. <laughs> God bless you and just don't forget to pray, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let me see. Question for you, Marcos. Question for you. Can you participate, Marcos? Yes? Yes, yes. Wonderful. Yes, what sir. types of medicine are available over the counter for colds or sore throats here in El Salvador? Like when people get sick with a call, what are those kind of, uh, let's say, um, medicine that these people buy? Uh, um, Bio grip. <laughs> Bio grip. Oh, Bio grip, exactly, right. Um, soda grip, soda grip, that's <laughs> another one, exactly. That's true. Yes, yeah. Um, I know, um, the cold, 
only, only those. Oh, thank you so much. Very good, right? That's that's quite specific. Very good. Thank you so much. And uh, let me see. What is this, Gary? I think it's Jocelyn. That's her name. Jocelyn Tatiana. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. I have a question for you. The number two. Jocelyn, can you participate? Yes or no? No? Okay. Tiffany Guadalupe, can you participate, Tiffany? Yes, Tiffany? Hello, Tiffany. No? Okay. Let's work with Maria Vilma Cortez. Hello, Maria Vilma. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Question number two. Do you, I'm sorry, do people usually take medicine or use home remedies when they have a call? Um, what do dancing? they use? Medicine or remedies? Home remedies or medicine? Medicine? That is correct, right? Most of the people, like, they have medicine. Very good. Okay. Uh, Jorge, the same question. Do people usually take medicine or use home remedies when they have a call? Um, they normally use medicine, but uh, home remedies is unreal real effect in the person sick. Exactly, exactly. That is correct. Uh, right. So so most of the people, most of the people, right, uh, they take yeah. medicine. But also there are some people that, takes, that take uh, remedies. Very good. Marcos, yeah. thank you so much. Hey, I can use uh, um, remedies oh, so in... Uh, plus uh, medicines. Oh, so you can combine those two, right? <laughs> right. Oh, uh, okay, okay. In, uh, tea, yeah. home tea. Oh, that's good, right? Uh, yes. So you can have a home tea. With other, others. Uh, honey also? Yeah, honey. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That is correct. It's like a mix of, of things, right? And we like boil <laughs> it and then we have a tea. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. Yes, thank you so much, Marcos. That's that's true. Abuelitas also they love to let us know. Hey, listen, if you have a call, take this one, right? Take this remedy, that will help you. Yeah. So abuelitas are like into this thing a, a, um, a lot. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We're gonna have some information about it. Look at these pictures, right? We have aspirins here, chicken soup, steam. Look at this one, right? <laughs> Do you remember COVID? I'm sorry about it, okay? Yeah, people used to do this one when they got COVID, right? Um, uh, uh, onion and garlic, look at this one. This is a combination, right? Cough, medicine, and sore throat, lozenges, lozenges, okay? Look at this one, right? Look at this one. Yes, holes, right? And things like that. And then we have tea with lemon and honey, okay? So... Home remedies, over-the-counter drugs. Thank you. Let's begin with home remedies. What's the vocabulary that goes with home remedies? Uh-huh. Anybody? Onion and garlic. Onion and garlic. Right. Very good. That's not delicious. Uh, somehow. With lemon and honey. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, you tell me... T uh, with lemon and uh, honey, right? Yeah, honey is honey is good. Yeah, I try once it is good. Oh, you know, Jesus. A little bit with panela candy. Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. We can have that one. Also, that's delicious. That's delicious. Okay. What about over the counter drugs? Uh -huh. Edith, over the counter Aspirin. drugs. Aspirin. And Aspirin. Aspirin. Very good. What else? Cold medicine and sort of lunch. 
lunches. Okay, mm. okay. Cough yes, medicine sorry. and sorry. Very good. What else? What about chicken soup? What is this one? Is over the counter drugs or no home remedies? Home remedies. Exactly right. Yes. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry. Chicken. I was thinking about something else. Okay. Chicken as soup. Yes. And what about steam? Steam does a does a drug? A no, thing? it's a home remedy. Exactly um, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. That is correct. That is correct. I mean, when I got COVID nineteen back in two thousand twenty, I did it. I did it. Yeah. My mom told me, "Listen, and it really to works." This. Yeah, and it it worked. That's right. It worked. Yeah. Uh, that was quite interesting. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good on this one. Great job, people. Yes. Very good. Let me show you something else. Here we go. Yesterday, we were working with this topic. We're going to get a little bit deeper on this one. So let's listen and watch the following video. So then we can practice. Here we go. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time, we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement, plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how, and right after it, we have far. Far is an adjective. How big, big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Oh, yesterday we were working on this one, right? How do we use how with questions, right? Here we have adjectives that let us know how um that let us know the temperature, does let us know let us know the distance, the height of something, right? Yes. Uh, and depending on the adjective we're gonna use, well, this is the way we are going to answer as well. Yes. Uh, we can answer with meters, uh, kilometers, uh, also we can answer with Celsius. And don't forget that in the U.S., because this is Salvadorian, let's say, um, measurement, 
right? Numbers. But here, this is like the American, right? So that's the way they use these ones, right? Miles, feet, right? So, uh, and here we use meters. Yeah, so. Um, don't forget that this is the way we can use these ones, okay? We're gonna have a practice uh, about this one. We, we did it a little bit yesterday, yes. I don't know if you have a question about it. Let me know if you have any question about this one. And again, as you may know, it's, it's quite, I don't know, simple somehow, because here we're gonna use the verb to be. You see here, the verb to be is here. Yeah, so working with this one. So um, for that reason, I guess it's not, it's not too difficult to use, right? Because we don't have another verb. Yes, we're gonna use the verb to be based on this context. Um, Page 96. We're gonna have this reading Antarctica. Okay, do you see this one very well? You can give like, like zoom to the a picture so you can see it better. I'm sorry for that one because it's quite big. So um, we're gonna have two people reading uh, this one. Okay, we're gonna start with you, Freddie. Freddie, you are going to read this part, okay? Uh, and then let me see you partner this. Ronald, can you participate, Ronald? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Wonderful, Ronald, you will read this part. Okay, this one here, sorry. Yes, okay. when, when Freddie finish, you start with this part, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Antarctica is the most southern continent in the world. It's like now here, else or no, on Earth. It's much larger than Europe and nearly twice the size of Australia. It's an icy plateau uh, with the south pole and its center. Antarctica is the coldest and windiest, windiest place in the world, uh, even colder and windy, windier, windier, windier than the North Pole. Although 98% uh, of Antarctica is covered in ice, it, it is considered a desert. Along the coast, annual precipitation is only uh, 200 millimeters, uh, eight inches, pulgada, mm -hmm. a year. Very few plants grow there, but there is some wildlife, including whales, seals, and penguins. In the summer, the sun shines for 24 hours a day, but in the winter, it's completely dark for about three months. When Captain James Cook sailed around the continent in the, uh, I understand, we, he found no one living there. Today, a few sentences work in Antarctica, but they only speak fairly short period of time. There are many of these sentences live on the work on the Antarctic. Antarctic Peninsula. This area is the closest part of Antarctica, the South, the South America, the continents, nearest neighbor, neighbor. Many of the sentences are studying the effects of climate change there. Antarctica has warmed by about two that five. Degrees, degrees Celsius, signs, some ice is melting in certain parts of the continent. However, unlike the vast melting that is happening in the Antarctic, the ice in America, in Antarctica is actually growing in spite of global warming, since scientists think that 
this cold and lonely, lonely place can teach you a lot about the earth and how to keep in safe. Sorry. Thank you so much. Very good. So here we have uh, seven, 1770s and 1950s. Here we have 2.5. Very good. Uh, great job. We have also sinks, right? Sinks, um, Celsius. Very good. In spite of, in spite of global warming. Very good. Um, thank you so much. Great job. Yes, so this is Antarctica, right? Look at here, we have the map. Um, here we have the different oceans and the, the also uh, the continents that are around this um, continent, yep. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for that one, okay. Any question about some vocabulary here in this uh, information? One of the most southern, southern continent in the world. It's like nowhere else on earth. Okay. Be ready, sorry, for the next activity, which is this one. True and false. Okay, remember this is about reading. So there was a reading over there that we were talking and here we're gonna check is that is true or for Antarctica is bigger than Europe. What do you think about this one, Anna? Hello, Anna. Cristina. Hello, teacher. Welcome, nice to have you. What do you think about this one? Is true or false? Um, uh, false. That's false? False. Antarctica is, is bigger than Europe, okay. Thank you. Let me change the color. I'm sorry. That's correct. Thank you. Number two, that's going to be for you, Luis Alberto. The North Pole is the coldest place in the world. Luis Alberto Garcia. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Luis Alberto Galicia. Hello, hello, I'm sorry. That's okay. Number two, please tell me. Tell me. True or false? Number two, uh, true or false? Yes. Uh, yes, is it true? Yes, okay. is the North Pole is the coldest place. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Carlos Castro, number three. The cows in Antarctica gets a lot of snow. That is true or false? Carlos, I, I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay, let's move with, with Marcos. Tell me, Marcos, number three. Oh, I don't know, I think so, uh, false. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth, can you participate, Jenny? Can you participate on this one, Jenny? Yes or no? Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa. Okay, Tiffany. Tiffany Guadalupe, can you participate? Number four is for you. Okay, Jocelyn Tatiana. Hello, Jocelyn. Can you can you do number four? Okay, teacher. Uh, in Antarctica, it's a never guess that in the summer. Um, True. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. That is true, right? You Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Um, Elisa, number five, Captain Cook discover a few people living in Antarctica. Elisa, that's true or false? Jorge, number number five. What do you think about number five? True or false, Jorge? Captain Cook discovered a few people living in 
Antarctica. Um, I don't know. Maybe false. Thank you. Evers, number six. The Antarctic Peninsula is the closest part of Antarctica to South America. That's true or false? That's true, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Janessi, thank you, Janessi, number seven. Uh, true. That's true. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this one, number one, is incorrect. Okay, so the correct answer should be um, true. This one, number two, is incorrect. The correct answer should be this one. Okay, that means false. Number three is correct. Number four is correct. Number five is correct. Number six is correct. And number seven is incorrect. Should be false. Okay, so we have just one, two, three mistakes on this one and the rest is perfect. Very good, thank you so much. Let me take the addendum, so I'm sorry, I gotta take it really quick. Um, igual, recordarle lo de los ejercicios en la plataforma, right? Eh, completarlos. Si tiene alguna duda o necesita apoyo, pues con gusto le puedo ayudar tomorrow in the afternoon. Yes, uh, I can give you, I can give you some help on that one. Also, eh, me notificaron con respecto a los diplomas eh, que pues no se los han entregado pues porque Insafor parece que no se los ha otorgado. Entonces, por eso usted no le aparece ahí cuando finaliza el, el uh, finalizó el curso, el curso, el curso, ok. Según me informaron, pues no se los han enviado de parte de Insafor, pero tan pronto los tengan, pues les va a aparecer, ok. Igual siempre estén pendientes pues de preguntar, right, eh, para pues, um, pues para ver cómo se, se, se agiliza eso, right. Yes. Pero sí, eso me informaron que les comentara con respecto a los diplomas del uh, curso pasado. Yes. Igual creo que les enviaron notificándoles para el próximo curso, right, que está pronto pues uh, a comenzar, sí, uh, para que usted se inscriba, right. Um, there is um, one thing important in English that is uh, practicing a lot. As you may know, December, we have a month. A month que usted deja de practicar English es bastante. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of, yeah. Unless you go to New York. Si va a New York, don't worry, right? Yes, just go to New York and practice your English over there. Yeah, that's, that's true, right? Go to Las Vegas, I don't know, yeah. And, and practice your English over there. But uh, if you like stop practicing in December, right? Because you are going to Cabañas or you are going to Morazan, yes, um, it will affect you for sure. Yeah, unfortunately, because we need to be like practicing um, as much as possible no, in English. Okay. No, have a class in December? Yes, that's why I'm telling you. That's why I'm telling you. Les pidieron que que se inscribieran al próximo eh, eh, módulo, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, entonces, uh, sí confirmen la asistencia al próximo módulo para que en diciembre, pues, uh, agarren el, el, el módulo, sí, y, y pues continúen uh, practicing your English. Yes. Right. Entonces, uh, por eso es que se les pedía lo de terminar antes los exercises so, so they can have it ready. ¿A Mauricio? Sí. Pregunta. Solo, esto en español. Eh, ya mandaron entonces la información de la inscripción para el siguiente porque creo, no que ya, creo que ya, so, ya solicitaron y dijeron que si confirmaban este, quiénes iban a estar para el siguiente módulo, creo que vi en el chat de Whatsapp un mensaje el chat de Whatsapp, eh, yes. José uh -huh. ahí, okay. sí, ahí, ahí lo vi no sé, no sé si lo tengo, tal vez lo pueden reenviar oh, ok, lo voy a buscar y, y, y I will send you Yes. Por favor. So, so you can have it. Yo quiero continuar. Sí, confirmáramos, pero no metimos formulario, ni pidieron que enviáramos formulario, solamente la confirmación. Oh, exactly, exactly. That is true. Lo es al chat personal, pero, no es al grupo. 
Oh, o oh, se los envió sí. directo a ustedes. Sí. Eh, Correcto, a cada quien. Oh, I'm sí, es individual, nos preguntaron. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's very nice of you. Yeah, okay. No directamente pueden preguntar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Sí. You can ask the person that is in charge. Ana, Cristina Peña de Paz. Good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here. Wonderful. Present Thank you, Present. Ana. Nice okay. to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Hello, Briseida. Are you here? Oh, Briseida. Let me see. Yes, Briseida is here. Thank you. Um, Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. Claudia? Oh, Jesus. No, she isn't, right? That's rare. Okay, I think she's busy. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Hello, Christian. No? Okay, I think Christian. Christian? No. No, I don't. Uh, no, I isn't. Okay. Uh, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Nice to have you, Daniela. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Thank you so much. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I heard the chat. Wonderful. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa. Let me see. Okay. Elisa, yes, she's here. Very good. Um, Iliana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. Hello, Iliana. Let me see. I think I, think I saw her here. Iliana. Yes, yeah, she's here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Janessi Alexandra Lopez. Good evening. Present. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Hello, Present. Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. I think I saw Jose Alcides, right? Thank you so much. Hey, Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. <laughs> Thank you so much. Juan Jose García Méndez. Hello, Juan. Are you here? This one, no, okay, he isn't. Oh, that's that's rare. Okay, um, Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez, present teacher. Thank you so much, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juarez, present teacher. Good evening, Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. I'm present. Hello, wonderful, nice to have you, Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, I'm here. Thank you so much, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, a Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón, Aragón Pleites. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Hello, Mirna. Are you here? No, she isn't. Um, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Hello, Sandra. Are you here? Okay. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you, Ronald. It's nice to have you. Sandra also is here. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Igual, uh, just, just because we are working with this thing, that is to present the exercises before your time. El día de mañana voy a tener disponibilidad desde las 3 hasta las 5 de la tarde. So, eh, Cualquier cosa me escribe al chat o escribe al chat del grupo ahí. So I can help you to finish the exercise that we have on the platform. Yes, uh, between three and five tomorrow. Okay. Uh, um, teacher. Yes, Hello. Freddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mentioned no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I didn't do it. Uh -huh. My gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Freddy okay. Alberto Paz Carrillo. Yes, thank you, Freddy. I'm here, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be sure, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. That's good. Okay. We're going to have another exercise for you. This one here. Look at this beautiful thing. I love this exercise because it's quite 
simple and goes straight to the point. Geography, geography quest, right? Kevin, thank you, Kevin. Read the instructions and then the vocabulary that we have here in this box. And then the example, number one, please, Kevin. Uh, repeat me, please, teacher. Uh, please read the instructions, then the vocabulary in the box, and then the example here, please. Okay. Use the words in the box, write questions about the pictures, then circle the correct answers. How big, how deep, how long, how cold, how far, how high. How high uh, is uh, Angel Falls? It's... Nine nine hundred seventy nine meters, three three thousand two hundred twelve feet tall. It's nine nine one nine hundred seventeen seventy nine meters high. Very good. Hi, thank you so much. Okay, very good. So Kevin numbered. Two is for you. Ready? Number two is for you, Kevin. Okay. Here we go. Again, teacher. Yes, number two. Here. What is the correct option? How big, how deep, how long, how tall, how far, how high? And this is the place. Look at this one place. The Jack the River. So this is a river. Um the um, it is how how high? No. How oh, long? Yes, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much for helping. Okay, very good. How long? What is next? Is the Jiangxi River? Yeah, exactly. Very good. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Jiang the River. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Letter A or letter B? Letter A. A. Letter A is the correct one. Now, Kevin, please read the um, the question and then read the answer, please. Who? Oh. How long is the Janset River? Is A. It's 6,300 kilometers, 3,117 miles long. Okay, 3,000. 900 900 17 miles long very good kilometers kilometers okay very good oh, kevin sorry sorry kilometers 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 thank you janessi the next one is for you janessi thank you so much okay just give me a minute i need to delete this one Okay, here we go. The number three. Okay, Janessi. How cold is the Antarctica? Okay, what is the correct answer, Janessi? Um, A or B? I think it's A. Okay. I it's mean, not. Because it gets up. What is up? Uh, what? Exactly. Uh, B. Well, yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. So it's letter B. <laughs> now, please read the question, uh, Janessi, and read the answer. Thank you. Uh, how God is Antarctica? It gets down to... Minus 88.3 degrees Celsius. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Sandra Noemi Pimentel. 
Sandra, can you participate? No? Oh, yes, I think she's not able to participate. She doesn't have a chance. Okay, what about you, Liliana? Can you participate, Liliana? Let me know. Liliana del Transito, can you participate? Cindy, Stephanie Ramirez, can you participate, Cindy? Yes, teacher. Please, number four. What is the question? Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. How big? I'm sorry. Try another one. Mm. How deep? No, I'm sorry. Try another one. Or far? Oh, yes, that is correct. Like Shrek, like Shrek's father's in law. Okay, so, oh, parents in law, sorry. Uh, how far? Very good. How far? What is next? Is New Zealand? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. I think like... It's Australia to New Zealand. Exactly. Exactly. So it's, it's the opposite. Australia to New Zealand. Sorry, capital letter. Uh -huh. Don't forget that when we have countries, we're gonna... And I think we are missing something. How far, I think it, how far is it? Australia to New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's one. Yeah, I, how far is it Australia? Yeah, that's correct. Very good. And then at the end, the question, mark, right? I forgot it as well. Okay, so what is the correct answer, uh, Cindy? Here, what's the correct answer? Letter A. Letter A. Okay, it's about kilometers, miles. Yeah, I guess that's correct. Very good. Okay, now read the question and read the answer, please. Thank you. Okay. How far is it Australia to New Zealand? It's about 2,000 kilometers. Kilometers. And one thousand two miles. Two hundred. Two hundred miles. 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 Exactly. Repeat. One thousand two hundred miles. Uh, well, one thousand two hundred miles. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Now here, kilometers. Repeat. Kilometers. 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 Better. That's better. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, hello, Blanca. Good evening. How are you? Blanca? Hello. Thank you. Are you ready for the weekend? Yeah, ready. Sounds good. Before you do that, do me a favor. Do number five, please. Thank you. We have the Amazon Rain Forest. This is the Amazon rainforest. Be careful. Okay, Blanca, please. What is the question, Blanca? How oh, deep? Excuse me? How oh, deep? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. How oh, big? Oh, yes. Very good. How big? How big? You were paying attention, right? That is good. What is next? P. Excuse me. No. What What is next? How big? Ah, I see. Sorry. Um, is the Amazon rain for it? Amazon, uh, rain forest. Right. Very good. What is the correct answer? B. Letter B. Okay. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's square kilometers. 
Um, yeah, that's correct. Now, now read the question and the answer as well, please. Thank you. Hopi, Hopi is the Amazon rain for it. It's six um, million kilometers long. Square. Oh, uh, square kilometers, 2.5 mi million square miles. Miles, very good. Thank miles. you so much. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay, Luis Alberto, number six is for you. Thank you. Number six. Uh, I'm sorry, number six. Uh, I'm sorry, what is the what is the question? Oh, you need to make the question using these ones here in the box. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Number six. Uh, um, how cold is um? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry. How long is the Grand Canyon? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. <laughs> how deep? Oh, how far? So how uh, deep? <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Wow. Very good. How <laughs> deep? <laughs> What's next? Jesus Christ. Uh, don't worry, okay. Uh, how deep? What is next? Is the Grand Canyon. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. What is the correct answer, Luis? What is the correct answer to this question? Um, it's about one... 1.6 kilometer deep. Exactly. That's correct, right? Now read the question and then read the answer, please, Luis. Thank you. Sorry. Luis, excuse me. Uh, read the question and then the answer, please. Thank you. Okay. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1.6 kilometers deep. Yeah. Thank you. Please, okay, right? Very good. Okay, so this is the way we work with this ones, right? How deep, how long? Just be careful because depending on the context, right, it's better to use uh, these adjectives. How big, how cold, how, I don't know, how big, yeah, cold, how far, long. So depending on the um, the thing, that's the way we're going to use the adjectives, okay? Okay. Okay. Now we're going to work with this ones, okay? Give me a minute. I'm gonna move it here. Answer these questions about your country. Oh, uh, look at this one, right? How big is the largest city? What's the wettest month? What's the driest month? How hot is, I'm sorry, how hot it get in the summer? How cold does it get in the winter? How high is the highest mountain? What's the most beautiful town to visit? Okay, so these questions are about our country. Some of them I think we can answer like quite easily, right? Some of them may take like a little research so we can find out what's the correct answer. For example, how big is the largest city? Maybe that one we need to Google it, right? So we can have the correct let's say uh number what's the wettest month uh this one i think we can get it what's the wettest month in um here in the salvador uh -huh. maybe maybe may <laughs> <laughs> the may uh may. no i'm sorry i'm sorry I, I don't think so i don't think so Freddie. i'm sorry uh, I but... think, yeah, for me, it's October. October? Yes, is... okay. October. <laughs> yeah. Yes, October. because there are storms. Exactly. In, in this yeah. year, it's October. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, right? Ah, it's the wettest uh, month. Okay, very good. And what about the second one? That's Teacher, the opposite one. Una yes? pregunta. ¿Qué significa wet Oh, wet. This one, wet? Wet test. Wet is... 
when when like it's humid like when you put water in something that's wet yes for example when it rains and you go out you get wet because of the rain uh, yeah okay. perfect okay. i got it wonderful number three what's the driest month this is the opposite right april april, april. okay april oh that's good i have a friend with this name april is the hottest i'm sorry the driest the driest month with the ninja turtles or uh, or not <laughs> <laughs> april in the ninja turtles exactly exactly that's right, that's right. <laughs> okay uh then we have how hot well this one we need to get the google information uh how cold also well we don't have this one right and this one number five is like never mind we don't i mean Too how much. yeah <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> el pital right maybe like people who live over there but here in san salvador santa tech i don't know it's, uh, it's yeah, yeah exactly so we don't have that one so, unfortunately imagine people who live in san miguel right or la union so that's impossible this is this question is like somehow um i don't know offensive somehow okay um uh, also the number six how high is the height of this one we need to google it and what's the most beautiful time oh look at this one maybe this one we can we can disagree on and like yeah because maybe i can say i don't know um i don't know i am not from there right maybe um or look right just because of we had those things, pupusas. Oh, those things are delicious. Holocuilta, holocuilta. El low pupusas. Oh, that's delicious, right? <laughs> it's the uh, most beautiful, right? The uh, crazies. And that is the only thing that we can find there. There is nothing else, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing else to see over there in Holocuilta. Just pupusas. That's the only thing, okay? Very good. Uh, thank you so much. Well, I'm going to... Stop this one here so we can move on to another exercise, uh, which is this one. Look at this one. We have a bunch of adjectives here. And do you remember this animal? Yeah. Do you remember this animal? Yeah. The elephant. Manjula. Oh, yes. My, yeah. <laughs> I remember that animal. That was a big animal. Yeah. It was very nice. This animal was like quite nice. Right. Yeah, they usually are like angry animals sometimes, but this one, the one that we had here, that was like a very, I don't know, shy. Uh, that was very like, I don't know. Yeah, it was a very nice animal. Yeah, Manjula, right? Friendly. Yeah, yeah, that's true, right? Uh, she was like... With mouse. Oh, here we have a mouse, right? Yeah, here we have a mouse. Oh, look at this one, right? It's not a rat, all right? <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, when you go like to the market, right? They have big rats over there, <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh Jesus, eh? gigantic rats. Okay, like New York, yeah, like New York, right? Here we have some, um, let's say, adjectives, and we need to write the opposite. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have some of your classmates. Please tell me all the adjectives. Let me see, Anna Cristina, tell me all the adjectives. Okay. These ones, and then tell me this list, please. Thank you. Que lea todos los nombres. Yes, these adjectives, and then these adjectives. Um, the biggest, bad, shorter, worse, agort, near, lowest, driest, hot. Shortest, hotter, smaller, coldest, wetter, dry, height, uh, better, uh, wettest, coldest, drier, hottest, smallest, far, bigger, good, best, long, highest, longest, uh, get, taller, be cold. Thank you. Wet eyes. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. So we're going to have the opposite, right? 
As you may know, like uh, we have the opposite. Freddy, number two, what's the opposite of bad? Opposite bad is uh, good. Okay, what is the letter? Uh, letter uh, I. Thank you so much. Very good. Mm -hmm. Marcos, number three. Oh, number three, shorter. shorter. Is the. Um... Shorter, shorter, maybe, oh, longest, longest, that is right. letter M, letter M, that is correct, right, yes, longest, also like this weekend is going to be a long weekend, yeah, so you can enjoy, unfortunately, the time is over, as you may see, right, rest, let me know if you have any question about the exercise on the platform. Okay, anytime and be nice and kind. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. You do the same. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.